Within the last week, the price of lithium has become completely and utterly ridiculous and unsustainable. It's reached an all-time record. It is up by a factor of 18. In other words, the cost of lithium is now 18 times more than it was only a couple of years ago. Is there a solution? There is. In fact, sodium batteries are something I talked about on the channel as potentially changing the world. Why? Because CATL, by far the world's biggest battery company, is working on their own sodium batteries. However, so is this other company, and they are doing it in a very interesting and unique way. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. I'll soon be at Fully Charged in Sydney to talk about this kind of technology and others similar to it. I'd love to see you there. I'll put a promotion code in the description below so you can get tickets for 10% off. But if you're not in Australia, come and see the show in London in April, and I'll be there too. And if you're not at that one, come and see the show in San Diego in California in the United States in October of next year. I'd love to meet you at any of those three events. There's been a breakthrough for next generation lithium free energy storage systems. Breakthroughs are needed in this area. Battery energy storage systems can be used to store and discharge energy as and when needed, which can provide backup power, balance the electricity grid, improve grid stability, ensure a reliable supply of renewable energy, and give us free energy. I mean, the average person here in Australia now has solar panels on their roof. They are ubiquitous. They are so common. In fact, the energy companies in one of our states here are telling people to turn their solar panels off because the grid is being run. It's, it's being controlled by solar now. The grid here in South Australia now has hit 100% solar. There has been times of the day, hours, I'm not talking a minute, hours where it's run completely on solar. If you can have a cheap, affordable sodium battery without needing to use lithium, that is a solution to much of our grid's issues. Liner Energy, a sustainable startup company from Lancaster, UK, has successfully proven the potential of its sodium technology for use in battery energy storage systems, which is a breakthrough for next-gen lithium-free batteries. Electrical grids all around the world will still need energy storage assets as renewable generation increases. This is an important demonstration for this technology, showcasing this technology's potential to meet the needs of this market. It is incredibly important because you can't always guarantee renewable energy supply, right? When the sun isn't shining, where's the energy going to go? What are we going to, how are we going to get our energy? Wind generation, yes. Sometimes, well, in fact, a lot of the time it's windy at night, but sometimes it's not. And it's at those times when we need battery backup. Lithium batteries are the dominant technology that is finding use across a myriad of applications from electric vehicles to laptop computers and smartphones. However, there are some concerns about maintaining present levels of production and meeting the surging demand while remaining environmentally sustainable and viable. And the current cost of lithium is forcing companies to adapt. When it comes to mining lithium, a huge amount of water is required. An extraction can also have a detrimental impact on the surrounding soil and environment, even leading to air contamination. And the reality is, we just don't quite have enough lithium at the moment for the amount of batteries the world needs. Yes, it's possible more can be mined, that is true, but it's also a good solution to use sodium because it's one of the most abundant minerals on the face of the earth. Having recently demonstrated the viability of its lithium-free sodium batteries for energy storage in an independent investigation conducted in partnership with Iron Ventures, it appears that sodium battery technology is really starting to take off. Conducting tests at Horimba Mira, the project received a substantial funding package from the UK's Department for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy. During the tests, Liner's one kilowatt hour sodium-based battery system demonstrated dynamic containment which maintains energy grid frequency through rapid injection and absorption of power and is now a crucial stream of revenue in the UK. In other words, it's being used right now. Dan Taylor, co-founder of the project, said, this is a huge milestone for our partner, Lena Energy, as the battery demonstrated its clear capability in responding to DC signals at the independent test center. This continues to show the battery system will be providing a wide variety of services as well as offering grid capabilities 
worldwide. Dynamic containment is a fairly recent introduction to the energy grid with National Grid ESO fully rolling the feature out in 2021 after a successful trial period. Designed to deliver a rapid response to a fault or failure on the grid system, DC aims to catch and contain any deviations in frequency that would otherwise disrupt the balance of the energy grid. Being able to support this system and offer energy storage capabilities with an environmentally compatible sodium-based battery could meet the demands of the energy market in many grids worldwide where renewable energy solutions are concerned. And this would also mean much cheaper energy costs using sustainable batteries. The one kilowatt dynamic containment system was put through its paces using cobalt and lithium free solid state sodium battery cells. To match the rigor of real world applications, the test was replicated against EFA block three, which represents a recurrent abnormally volatile frequency input. Testing procedures were carried out for five days as the sodium battery cells were subjected to a wide array of states of charge. The test was also run parallel to a charge and a discharge profile in an attempt to show the battery's viability to stack revenue streams. The experiment proved successful and it showed that Liner's solid state sodium batteries actually work at a commercial level. That's the key here. Liner's commitment to developing sustainable battery solutions and successful demonstration marks a significant step that shows its lithium-free sodium battery can meet the demands of the modern national electricity grid anywhere in the world right now. This technology will help strengthen electrical grids all around the world, supporting renewable energy storage solutions while mitigating some of the environmental challenges involved in the mining and manufacturing and refining of lithium and lithium iron batteries. I've said now for a long time, sodium energy storage is the battery technology of the future. It will come down in cost. Why? CATL said that by 2025, their sodium batteries will be 30% cheaper than lithium iron phosphate batteries, which are currently the cheapest, by far the cheapest form of energy storage on the market, well, lithium-based energy storage on the market right now. Clearly, it's very evident that actually, I could have been wrong, could actually be solid state sodium batteries that replace lithium iron phosphate batteries for energy storage worldwide. This is a really surprising and exciting development. Either way, whether it's solid state batteries that are made of sodium or simply sodium batteries, the future of energy storage and the future of the grids worldwide more than likely will be largely made up of this type of battery chemistry. If that's what I believe will happen, let me know your thoughts on this. Do you think I'm right? Am I wrong? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, my friends, the world is getting better. Keep that in mind. All of this technology is leading to a better planet, more renewable energy storage, more renewable energy being used and deployed and less emissions. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.